Yo, yo, yo. Cousin Wayne Kells, how we doing out there? Monday. Not so fun day. It is raining like a damn Forrest Gump movie out here. Um, I love it though. It's Monday, it's raining, so I'm gonna cook some opposite rainy food. I'm gonna grill. I'm gonna grill some steaks, I'm gonna grill some shrimp. I got some roasted garlic that I'm so proud of because you guys know I love garlic, so garlic's going everywhere, in everywhere tonight. Uh, shout out to garlic. Shout out to the mashed potato that garlic is gonna be going with. Shout out to this uh, Angus ribeye steak I'm gonna be grilling up. And shout out to you guys. Shout out to Parappa Rappa, uh, circa 1999 maybe. You kids, if you guys don't know about Parappa Rappa, Google it right now, come back, we'll talk about it later. So, um, like I said, I roasted up a bunch of garlic, uh, fresh garlic cloves with um, alderwood salt and uh, extra virgin olive oil and smoked black pepper. You guys always know I stay with the herbaceous smoked herbs, spices, and now garlic. So this garlic's gonna be going everywhere tonight. Uh, let's start by seasoning my proteins. I have my mashed potatoes already working. Uh, those will be sitting on ice for us when we're ready, but I have my uh, my shrimp going uh, ready to be going. And we'll do some a little bit of regular oil. And I'm gonna use a lot of this oil that I've already made. Uh, if you guys can see that it's nice and colorful, golden brown, just like your boy. Whenever food's ready, it's gotta be golden brown like, like your yeah boy. So, I got the olive oil, I got the, I was still, some lime because you know what? These are gonna be lemon pepper season. It's gonna have a similar essence to uh, the blackened that I always do, but I got my lemon pepper seasoning blend from Colonel D's, Family Market, Holla at your boy, Colonel D. Um, so this is gonna be low in salt, high in flavor, and citrus. So these are gonna be citrus grilled shrimp, if you will. This steak, however, it's going to be garlic, it's going to be uh, smoky, and it's going to be flavorful, juicy. Angus, ribeye steak, I got my flat top, uh, excuse me, my, my cast iron. My cast iron grill is gonna be flamed up in the rain, because it's Monday, and that's all I know how to do. Okay, so, uh, I wanna tell you guys about what I'm drinking. This is the New Belgian Hemperer. Oh, my ring's so light you can't even see it. It's Hemperer. Uh, it's got hemp infused uh, hops and whatnot. It's delicious. Shout out to Denver, shout out to New Belgium. Uh, let's see, for the shrimp, I got some cilantro and some onion here. I'm gonna do cilantro, like I said, lemon pepper style. The cilantro brings out the lemon, the pepper, the, like I said, the minimal salt and the citrus. If I didn't say citrus already, I meant it. I meant it. All right, so now that I got this done, I'm gonna pay attention to the steak. Steak is also gonna get that extra virgin olive oil, roasted garlic oil. I have the garlic cloves that I have perfectly browned. Jesus Christ, I need to turn my uh, lights down, guys. You guys can't see anything. Anyway, take my word for it, they're nice and brown. They're a chewy texture, if you will, because they are charred on the outside, yet mushy on the inside. This is exactly how I wanted them. Cooked for about an hour in the oven. Uh, that's gonna go on the steak. I'm gonna rub that in. Uh, I did this last year on Cooking with Kells, and I did the same thing, and it was so good. I didn't report to anybody about how good it was, so I wanted to get this garlic in there. This housemate garlic, if you will. This artisanal seasoned garlic from the high mountains of Walnut Hills. Shout out to Walnut Hills. Shout out to being on top of everything. Looking down over all y'all. Uh, but Mount Adams is apparently the highest point in the city. I'll take y'all word for it. If that's true, let me know. Uh, if it's not, if it's not. Top Linda, I see you guys commenting. We got this uh, O-ring. <laughs> This light ring for the uh, phones now. And yeah, it's too hot. So my, my forehead's shining in. I'll turn it down a little bit. For now, we'll turn it this way. And we'll see the cast iron that I got going. I'm actually gonna turn this off because I hate it. Shouts out to Blue Uzi, but not to me. 
All right, so one of the things I got to do with these sweet, uh, excuse me, the mashed potatoes is make a cream base. It's like a bechamel, but I do like a roasted garlic, again, garlic all day, uh, cream and cheese. I'm going to throw some smoked mozzarella in there. Jen doesn't know yet. Smoked mozzarella is going to be in there. Uh, again, it's going to be the cream base to your mashed potatoes. It's going to be the lotion to potatoes. You got mashed potatoes, throw some cream on that bitch. All right. So I got cream, I got butter. I'm just gonna throw it into a pot and get that rolling. Um, just simmer, just blend everything together. Like I said, more garlic, more everything. I'm gonna be lazy and cut this open. Um, so yeah, shout out to the Bengals for losing the other night, last night. We all knew, nope. Nobody can withstand the early season jitters. Alright, so cream's in here, I'm gonna let that slow roll. Cast iron's gonna get hot. Um, you guys know me, luckily it's rainy, so I got my windows open because I'm gonna smoke this apartment out, per usual. Alright, so, already uh, seasoned and oiled down my cast iron grill. Um, I got my steak ready, let's go back over, and I'm just gonna, gonna love on this steak with some more, some more things. I wanted to make sure the garlic was on there, seek in the pores, if you will. I have, uh, let's see, I have a couple things. Found some chocolate salt. I found, found my scorpion pepper salt. Let's put that in shrimp. It is a very, let's see if you guys can see that. Anyway, it's very crystallized, very nice salt. It goes with like a lot of chilies, a lot of things where you don't want a lot of salt, but you want a lot of spice and flavor, it's called Scorpion pepper salt, at one point in time it was the hottest pepper in the world, now it's the reaper, death, guy, um, whatever. Anyway, salt is great for seasoning instead of killing your senses. There's a lot of S's in there. Alright, so let's do, let's do the smoked salt on the steak. It's a nice base. I actually have some Morton sea salt, some kosher, um, excuse me, uh, some coarse ground. I have the coarse black peppercorns from Finley. These are the smoked bourbon smoked. Why not? It's kind of, it's one of the basics. Salt and pepper and garlic. I'm not doing Laurie's um, 12 blends and your spice. Uh -uh. Nope, this is salt, pepper, and love. Like, I can't do all the, the artificial stuff. It's just, it's not cool. No. So, got my cream going, got my cast iron going. I'm gonna turn some things down over here. My big mouth, I like to talk a lot. I forgot about a couple things, so. We are going to finish this steak. It's gonna sit for a second longer. And as far as the shrimp are concerned, those cook shortlier, shorter cooking time. So I'm going to throw those on right as I'm pulling the steak off. I'm going to do some nice butter basting of this steak when it pulls out. Um, it's going to be juicy when it pulls out. Okay. Steak, like I said, normal. There we go. There's some good shots. Uh, the steak is normal season. Salt, pepper, oil, love, garlic. Got can't, can't do anything else. Okay. So when you grill, you want your grill to be super hot. Your grill and your grill, always super hot. Um, you guys know about 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, the, uh, the diamonds for the steak? I'm going to show you something. 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock. I'll show you in a second. Anyway, throw that song bitch on. Crank it. Got my cream that's being cranked. Steak's going to go on for a little bit. Cream right here. I'm going to start adding my ingredients for my cream. This is going to be for the mashed potatoes. Um, I'm going to do the straight cloves of garlic. You know why? Because they're already cooked, they're already roasted, and they're already seasoned. When I mash these up, I'm going to be mashing up the potatoes as well. So all the love is going to go inside. No oil. Try to stay away from the oil. Should have thought about that, but I just start picking out the good stuff. All right. I got some smoked mozzarella. I'm going to start cooking. Steak's rolling hard. Smoked mozzarella. This is so good. Look at the color of that. It's just like me again. Golden, burnt, brown. Alright. 
So this stuff, don't use a lot, guys. It's expensive. Sometimes you can't get it open, like me. You just have to tear it open. That'd be a current savage, brother. All right, so anybody wants to let me come over and smoke some cheeses, I would love to smoke some cheese curds. I mean, cheese curds, uh, sorry, cheese curds. So I'm gonna use about half of this ball, uh, and that'll be all the cheese I need. Cream, cheese, not a lot of salt, don't use salt, and the cheese has a lot of salt, guys. So I'm gonna go look at my steak real quick. Something tells me that in about 30 seconds, it'll be ready to flip. So right now, it's at two o'clock. It's a perfect song for it. Two o'clock, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, two o'clock. You do those, di di those diagonals, you'll come out with some perfect diamonds, because diamonds are forever. And you want to have the best diamonds forever. I'm gonna let it sit. I'm gonna cut some more of this, the smoke of Sadamon, the smoke of Matirena. Shout out to you guys for watching me tonight. I'll try to get on here more often, but I don't feel like cooking now. I don't want to be on film when I'm cooking. I just want to get in and get out. I gotta work tomorrow morning. All right, remember my cream is hot. I got the garlic in there. I'm gonna stir in this mozzarella. It's gonna be gooey. It's gonna be cheesy. So I think I cut up too much. Half a ball of mozzarella is too much for 12 potatoes. All right. Turn the steak brown. Yep. All right. Let's see what the diamond looks like here in about mm, two minutes. Mozzarella is in the cream. So now you have cream, mozzarella, and garlic. Already seasoned garlic. Taste this before you Add your potatoes. You want to add more cream. This is about a half a cup of cream. Need a little bit more than that. But make sure the cheese is being slowly but surely melted. I'm going to heat up my cast iron for the steak. Because I'm almost done with the steak. But it's not a must steak. Because it's going to taste great. And I can't arm that well while I'm trying to cook. I'm not that good at it yet. But I'm good at splashing through that wrist action. So this is my cream for my mashed potatoes. And it's already getting, oh, so gooey. So gooster. So gooster. So gusta me gusta. All right, play with that a little bit. I got shrimp. I got shrimp coming too. Wash your tongs off. Here for me, something grill. Gotta wash your tongs. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I haven't done much of this this shrimp that I have here. Um, it, I did do a lot. All my favorite hits are coming on. Bruno Mars, Gucci, Kodak. Goes hard in the trunk. All right. Look, the steak's about to be so lovely. Uh, Tom, I washed them and I didn't give them back. Alright guys, look at this steak that's about to come out. Ooh, it feels so good to turn over a nice meat on your grill. Oh man, I'm such a pervert. Alright. I want you to see the beginnings of the diamonds. Can you see those? Because yeah, I can see them. Stevie wanted to see those diamonds. All right, so I'm gonna cook the other side. Nice charred diamonds right there. Um, not a lot I can do to look better than that on camera. I mean, my steak, my meat speaks for itself. I, I have no other words. I have no other words. Don't forget that I have the cream on here. Don't let your cream curdle. All right, so I forgot that I put the potatoes, excuse me. The potatoes, I have red russet potatoes, cooked and half smashed. They're in the microwave, just chilling. No, I didn't cook them in the microwave. And, it's gonna reheat them, but I got this super nice sauce that I'm gonna be putting in the mashed potatoes. All right, got a trick for you guys. It's called 
I wouldn't call it cowboy butter, but let's see what we call this. Turn my steak one more time. The steak's gonna go in cast iron skillet. Ooh, my battery's running low on my phone. Cast iron skillet with the butter, unsalted butter. See that loveness? I got some herbs. Duh, I got some herbs. I got some thyme. I got some. Let's see what else I got. I got thyme and rosemary. So I just got one steak. I'll just use half a stick for both. There's a piece of sage in there. I didn't mean to grab that. Thyme and rosemary. Put that with the butter and the steak. All of a sudden, everything's great. All right, remember I told you about the mashed potatoes? Still in there. Cook those. I keep moving because I'm, I stepped on something and I hate touching stuff on my feet. So I'm like dancing, but like trying to get it. Because a piece of cheese, that's what it was. It's a mozzarella. All right. As everything is smoking over here, yeah. I'm going to minimize. Probably grab the grill and not the oven. All right. Shrimp's going on. I forgot, guys. Still got the shrimp. Everything's still hot, though. Look at this. That's great. So I'm just throwing this shrimp on. Cast iron. It'll cook for hours after you turn it off. Not hours, but you know what I mean. Shrimp has been marinating in lemon pepper, cilantro, smoked black peppercorns, fresh lime juice, um, fresh garlic. <laughs> Fresh garlic oil. So when you get a steak as lovely as this one, you gotta give it some love. So I didn't cook it on both sides on the, on the bottom because I don't want to overcook it. I want to finish it in the pan. I'm gonna smell it in this butter love. See that? Got your herbs in there, slowly cooking. I could throw some garlic in there right now if I wanted to. That would probably be the best idea, but um, I don't have a lot left, so I'm gonna save that for, for another time. Wash my tongs again. Put this shrimp because, as I said, this grill back here is already hot. The potatoes are hot. Look at that time. I'm All right, red russet potatoes, hot, ready. They were just cooked five minutes before I started this video. Steak finished. I'm gonna flip the shrimp. I'm gonna scoot it over. I'm gonna let this steak finish off the heat. Wish I had a third hand. So three feet. So good. All right. I literally just have to mash some mashed potatoes, and then we're mashing out on this food. All right, you guys are just tuning in. You guys are just noticing my creamy, I don't even know what you call it. Mac and cheese base. <laughs> Mac and cheese base. Mashed potato base. So, still got my cheese stirs in there. That is okay, because again, I'm going to smash all this together. I'm going to throw it all in there with the potatoes, the hot potatoes, and the hot sauce. I'm going to mash that up. Mm. Mashed potato took the longest because for obvious reasons they have to sit and boil so I did that off camera and the steak took the shortest amount of time because it is a, such a a lean piece of meat I, I don't want to say lean it's, it's the best part I mean ribeye it's, it makes the best mixture fat and fat and juicy that's how I like it alright Mashed potatoes are mashed. 
I'm, I, I season this stuff so well before that it's almost like I don't need to taste them. But they're, that's the whip hand taking control. All right, mashed potatoes. I'm gonna taste them real quick. The shrimp over there finishing, by the way, y'all didn't even notice I was cooking shrimp and mashed potatoes and steak at the same time. Um, I am making Rice Krispie treats later. Shout out to Kemperer, Fighting Belgium. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a plate. I guess I'm making my plate first. I don't really like this on either, but I'm gonna play it. Taste these mashed taters. They're nice. I love the skin on. If you don't like skin on mashed taters, we can't be friends, by the way. So, um, skin on mashed potatoes. It can use some salt and pepper. I'm not gonna lie. But you know the brilliant thing about that is? And then I have salt and pepper and I didn't over salt it and over pepper before. Because you can never unsalt and pepper someone. So, freshly grind some salt and pepper. Add it to the mashed potatoes. Let's pull the shrimp off. Woo. Beautiful, beautiful shrimp, lemon pepper shrimp, blazing in the wind, if you will. All right, so we got surf and turf tonight, I guess. Look, there's Jim. Surf and turf uh, tonight, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so let's uh, let's put my plate together with this. Newly seasoned mac and uh, I keep saying mac and cheese. I really want mac and cheese. That's why I'm cooking that slice. Mac and cheese. Mashed potatoes. All right. Don't whisk out crazy. I'm just going to build this. I can't decide. There's so much food and stuff in my way. I'll just show you. All right. Everything's ready. Everything's ready. There's nothing that's not ready. Jen, you ready to eat? Yeah. All right. Ooh, I forgot to tell y'all. I made bacon for this mashed potatoes. If I had a finish move, it would be to sprinkle, sprinkle bacon on somebody's dead body. <laughs> oh man. Too soon? Alright, so bacon. I made peppered bacon. I cut it into small pieces so it cooks faster. When I was trying to cook this outside of the video, I don't want to crumble this bacon with a knife. This is smoked mozzarella mashed potatoes paired with a Angus ribeye grilled lemon pepper shrimp topped with bacon. Let me turn this light down. I don't know if you're ready for this. As soon as I find the light. Yeah, I say that is uh, that's pretty nice. So I'm gonna eat this. Jen's gonna eat the more shrimp, and I'm gonna make rice krispie treats after this. Ready? All right, y'all. Have a good night. Peace.